put on my glasses. But yeah, so hello people! Um, don't worry, I'm going to regret it, but I'm going to be streaming Outlast 2 and hopefully finishing it tomorrow. But tonight, we get a little extra Spooktober stream. Um, this was requested by Strawberry. Where I'll be streaming until dawn. And regretting every moment of it, I'm sure. I don't know how the sound is, or if everything's working, but I hope it is. Hold on a second. Just a moment. Hey there, Strawberry! How you doing? An odd theme for this month. Oh, right. I've had that Christmas theme since last year and I just never took it off. I'm doing okay. A little bit tired, but otherwise I'm fine. Oh, brightness. I am so doomed. So doomed. Like traditional controls or motion controls? Why would I want to do motion controls? Traditional controls! Oh god, that's loud. It's starting in the snow, huh? Oh god, that hurt my ears! Jesus freaking Christ! Why is that so loud? It didn't hurt your ears. Bonus content? Meet the cast, making a scene, the science of fear. Oh, that's probably like just little bonus silly things. Control options, subtitles, turn that on, sidebar text. Global stats. Well, it was mainly my headphones. It's not necessarily the the sound of the uh, game itself. Yeah, let's start. Butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. A tiny butterfly, does a devastating hurricane. Oh boy. What could go wrong? Wait, is that? The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Do butterflies actually have veins like that? Surely they don't. Like, in their wings. Your story is one of many possibilities. I'm so doomed. Choose your actions carefully. Because it's a horror game based on like 90s isn't it like 90s horror movie style? It's kind of obvious something's going to go wrong. It looks pretty good. Considering it's what, like three or so years old now? Oh, great, a muschetti. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Did you guys think this is a little 
Yeah, I was gonna say, I've never seen a butterfly that has veins in its wings. It's kind of freaky. Hello, Parim. How are you doing? All right. <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Mike. Okay. It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Who's this guy? Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Oh, I can move. Oh god, it's 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 like freaking heavy rain. Okay, read the note. See, Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Really? Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I was gonna say, who the hell talks like that these days? Yep, first time. And I'm already worried. Oh god, the controls are really weird with these camera angles. Why is the control so slow? Oh. It really is like friggin' heavy rain. Alright, bunch of drunk teenagers. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. I've got your note. Oh boy. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. This isn't going to end well, is it? It's like a hazing. A very inexperienced teenager, I would assume. Wait, Jews? What? Jews? Find others, wake Josh. Find others. Oh no. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. Oh god. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerk! Is this where the, the Hannah, whole it's just a prank bro thing Hannah. came from? So, should we go after her? I wonder. You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh wait, that's not so bad. Just a little panic inducing, that's all. Uh, fast? What could go wrong? Break my legs, maybe? Do I need to calm down? Oh 
follow noise, follow footprints. Follow the footprints. Oh, those are deers. Hi, deer. Uh, could we not and say we did? Or elk? Fuck, shit. This may have been a mistake. Montana, where are you? Wait, one second aside? Oh, joy. Love it. Oh, wait. Great, now there's touchpad stuff, too. really bright for a phone night. Whoa! <laughs> Getting jump scared by elk! Great. Fantastic. Hello? 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 Thanks for the follow, Xperim. Oh wait. Item. Hello? Hello, item. Oh, that's death. That's unfortunate. What was that, like a vision of the future or something? And that's... What the hell was that? Found my first totem. Freaking dragons. <laughs> I was gonna say, that seemed like... Alright, that's definitely a flamethrower or something. Why is there a flamethrower here? Please not. Please. Wait, am I gonna have to run? Oh no. And there goes a cell phone. Great. Oh, they're dead. Definitely dead. There they go! Oh, okay. Ranch? Hold on! Get him, Puff the Magic Dragon. Hold on! Oh boy. Uh wait, why is why is there None of those options are good! Ah, uh, there goes her spine. Uh, okay. Why weren't either of those options good? It was either sacrifice one or sacrifice both. This guy. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Joy. So, you have committed to commence with this game business. And I want to help you see it through. 
Is this guy a psychologist? Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through. He's a little bit creepy. All right. With all the smiles. Let's start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? Oh, a psychoanalyst. Look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Let me look then, I guess. Scarecrow. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Makes me happy, feels uneasy. Uh, it's not particularly scary, I guess. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? It's peaceful, yeah. Oh. The scarecrows on their own aren't exactly scary. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? Now that, probably not. <laughs> why is that? Because, um... Well, yeah, it gets kind of creepy when you're alone. Something in that picture that scares you? No. Scarecrow's fine, just. It's creepy uh, being alone in general. That is very interesting. I'm afraid we're out of time, but please, I would like you to contemplate. What is it that is missing from that picture? This thing that is driving your fear. We need to unwrap. Okay. Oh, we're in the snow again. Alrighty. Oh, this should probably be interesting, and also probably bad for my heart. At least it's not as bad as... Outlast. In the sense of fear. And stress. Well, actually, it could probably be as stressful. Enjoy a cockroach. I could do without the creepy baby face. How's it fine if everyone dies? That doesn't seem like a good idea at all. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Well, this is an update on how... Yeah, Dawn's a lot more creepy than friggin' scarecrows. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest. By the way, if the frame rate's a little weird, sorry about that. I'm, I only have a normal PS4, I don't have a PS4 Pro. I really hope I can afford the PS5 when that comes out. 
My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. My mom had some dolls when she was a child. Oh, one night I encountered one Josh that it was out on of its this, box the in the living room. The oh god. It's a Hello, nightmare when it happened. Alright, let's do that again. Alright. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Okay. So, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second oh she I left them out for a donation probably worry about <laughs> that's funny and i know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year but i just want you all to know um it means it means so much to me that we're doing this and that i know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For for the sake of my sisters, and you know. No, oh, okay, good. Okay. So let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip. We'll never forget, alright? Yes! <laughs> now we're back to the music video, huh? Heads up, English is not my native language, so if you don't understand me, just let me know. I understand you so far. That's perfectly fine. Don't you worry. You're fine. Memento Mori. I swear, every time I see the name Memento Mori, I get worried that's going to be some creepy Japanese horror game. Oh, great, a knife! Well, that was quick. Sam, Hannah's best friend, diligent, considered, adventurous. Okay. Oh, continue. Didn't know it's the X. Yeah, this really does play Hello? out like a movie. Someone there? A really long movie, I'm sure. Fancy can't spell to date his life, so I have to sign for his text lines. <laughs> But yeah, the reason I was talking about the frame rate was because the frame rate seems a little off when I'm actually walking around. Like, it seems well, just a little bit jumpy or off-putting. But when it's cutscenes, it looks fine to me. Wait, I didn't see any objects that glitch, right? Did I? Did I pass by anything that was shiny? I don't think I did. Okay. Let me just head this away. Everything's gonna be fine. It's not like I'm going to the Resident Evil mansion or anything. The gate's busted. Climb over? Is that what that says? Uh, what? Yep, it does. Great. How's she even gonna climb? 
Oh, it's bricks. I'll go safe. Slow and steady is fine. God, is this game gonna be nothing but QTEs and cutscenes? I guess in this sense it's kinda like Shinmu. Although that had some fighting sections. I like the snowy atmosphere. I just wish it wasn't quite so creepy. It's a squirrel! Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? Don't moo. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Why is there a don't moo function? That's actually extremely worrying. Current objective. Head to the ca uh, cable car station. Huh. They did a good job on the environment. As far as the design goes. Oh, what's this? Native American stuff. <laughs> See, indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death, black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Danger, red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss, brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Oh, there's more. Guidance, yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune, white butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Oh. Alrighty. Oh, another totem. To explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. Alright, well, let's boot this thing. Burb. Oh, I see the colors of the totems you find. These misty effects, though. Uh, there's a backpack. Oh, please tell me that's not the view of someone spying on me. Uh, clothes bag? I don't want to screw around with karma. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous. Okay. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. you he has like so the hairstyle that 50% of male YouTubers seem to have these days. Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Or popular male YouTubers, anyways. Wait, what's this? Something glowy. Who found wanted poster? Wanted Milgram Victor, sex male, height 6'2. Last known address, black with signs, last seen 316-1998. Wanted in connection with a first degree arson offense, as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC. Seems possible. Blackwood Provincial Mounted Constabulary. Police Monte Provincial. Uh, CLD Blackwood. July 1998. Snowy Resident Evil Mansion, 1998. Ta da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on! 
God, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Good question. Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. This kid does not look like he can handle a gun. All right, here goes. Okay. I'm testing R2. Oh. I noticed that. Okay, that seems easy enough. Okay, kid. Whatever you say. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh no, I don't want to shoot a squirrel. No, I'm gonna shoot that. Screw that. I'm not going to shoot the little squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Bird? Butterfly effect update. And this is basically meant to be like a 90s horror movie. So then this seems to involve Native American stuff. I'm guessing being mean to nature would not end well for me. So I'm just not going to do that. They found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Oh, not him. All right. For you. A oh, real gentleman. Blackwood Pine Hotel and Sanatorium? What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. That's rich. Oh, great, he used to be an insane asylum. What could go wrong? Nothing bad's gonna happen here. What the hell? Um... That looks like a camera spying on the cabin. It's a little weird. Although I guess this is kind of like a security station, but still. Finally. Coming? Yeah, well, I was going to stay here and catch some seas, but... By the way, all the sound and everything's working fine, right? Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Okay, good. The begins. Oh, this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no. He definitely did. 
I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. Oh. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off the train rock. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. That's a really weird coincidence. <laughs> Oh god, why has it got to show the teeth? That looks a little creepy. Confident, Mike's new girlfriend, trusting, irreverent. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. So I can see that I'm controlling a lot of characters here. Three so far. Oh, good job. Jess! Jessica, over here! Jesus Christ. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh, no, I see. my God. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, <laughs> Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Pure muscle. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have? Chris! Here? My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Oh, I see, that's who you meant. Explain? Mike and M Split were together. Whoa. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the library. It's getting tired of all this nature junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see the view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget. Did yeah, Jessica kind of seems like the stereotypical blonde. As in, like, the... Well, the one that they usually throw in movies. Mike's ex, Emily. Intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. She also looks kind of bossy. would have been, like, as pretty... Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, motivated, ambitious, active. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Alright, she sounds really bossy. No, I don't, you know I don't mean you, I mean the other character, the actual character in the game, silly. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh. Yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, I'm not saying all bonds are bad. Oh God! Jesus! Jesus Christ! I'm not saying all bonds are like that. I'm saying that the way the character in the game named Jessica acts, 
she kind of acts like the stereotypical blonde that they put in movies. The, the, the bad stereotype. That's what I mean. Let's see, intelligent, driven, persuasive. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Go out in the woods. Spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit. Of Just like this guy seems the like the typical jock. Thing? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Yeah, it's trying to be nice. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. Okay, You guys yeah. gonna make out now? Oh, oh my god. god. Totally. We're so gonna make out. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. See you, man. See ya. Right. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Um, why? I need to go find Sam. That doesn't seem suspicious okay. at all. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Okay. This seems like a bad idea. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. I'm not sure I like this girl. Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, forthright. Okay. Hello. This seems like prime for a jump scare. Whoa, hello. Yep, that's what I thought. Not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god. Hey, whoa. Sorry, dude. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, what? Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real. Swear to god, man. Oh my god. I saw it coming. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. This is gonna get awkward real quick. Um, I get the feeling if I choose right, then it's just gonna cause problems. But at the same time, he kind of needs to know. I, I don't know, man. Although when it comes to these kind of movies, Usually there's a lot of misunderstandings, and I don't think that's what's gonna happen, but screw it. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not, it's not like, really interesting, it's just... What? For real? I'm, I'm gonna regret that, that decision. Cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Okay, fine. Help yourself? Uh, sure. Help yourself. Oh, boy. Uh Nothing you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Matt. Oh, this is gonna cause unnecessary drama.
Oh, wait, check phone, read book. Let's see the book. Yeah, you're right, he does need to know. Oh, God! <laughs> Motherfucker! You did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Uh, run! Oh, sneaky, sneaky! <laughs> Thing! Crap! Gotta try harder than that, hero! Okay, we got an actual snowball fight going on. Where are you hiding, little chick? Um, uh, uh... Get ready! Oh, ah. oh, hey! Oh, snap! Why would there be an op? Why is that bird there? Hello, come on. Hey, Mike. Boom, shakalaka. Okay. Now you got me. Okay. <laughs> it seems kind of wholesome. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Okay. I know all your tricks. Yeah, I'm just gonna do nothing. Like I said, it's, it's got Native American stuff in it, man. Hitting nature is just going to cause problems. I didn't hit the bird, though. Gotcha. Done. Done city. I was nice Can to the bird. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Alright, alright. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Um, this is awkward. But. Okay. Snowball! Ah! That's probably a bad idea. Ho oh, ho, okay. Maybe not. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? <laughs> well, I can think of at least one. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? All right. <laughs> well, uh, well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Yeah, getting inside the cabin would probably be a good idea. That, and I can't imagine the bird freaking killing everybody unless I, like... <laughs> unless it freaking caused, like, a Rube Goldberg effect somehow. So with this with this guy again. This time we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. Okay. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Um huh. Probably men. Planes definitely scare me. I fear drowning, definitely. Well, I fear both of those things, so that's hard to go with, but I probably fear drowning worse. Snakes scare me. Mm, probably go snakes. Guns definitely scare me more than knives. 
go with your first answer. Snakes, definitely snakes. Clowns. Yeah, probably clowns more. I blame the It movie. The hell? Who'd be scared of crows? Gore, on the other hand, that's kind of... Is that like a bunch of just... Lizaba! Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing better now. Don't be nervous. It's like, oh sure, don't be nervous about the psychoanalyst that's trying... Try to... Speed up. To, uh... Jump scare you. Instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Oh, that's why I thought you meant. Okay, spiders do bug me. I hate spiders. Mm, not so much a fan of gore. I mean, zombies and games don't scare me all that much these days, but in a real-life situation, that would probably scare the crap out of me. Oh, if you're puppos. Puppos could be nice. Storms scare me. Nah. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. Spiders, zombies, awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. I mean, it's a horror game. I figured there would be a lot of gore. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. I hope there isn't some freaking system where the more you choose gore, the more gore there's going to be. That'd be really screwed up. Previously on Until Dawn, was this a series now? Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! Oh my god, we actually have recaps going on. Going on. My I didn't leave the game, though. of one in particular scene no. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. I mean, here's the thing. So I got I'm back. Getting to a point to where I'm semi-desensitized to gore in games. But in real life, gore would probably mess me up. Man, Jealousy. Like Nine hours until dawn. Oh, yeah? it feels the same to me. Josh, Hannah, and Beth's brother? Complex, thoughtful, loving. Okay. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. <sighs> Why don't you install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny it might really that. screw with me. Oh, great. Just what I needed after the the yeah. traumatiz uh, being traumatized by Outlast yeah. 2. Well, more or less, but they're just so good to see you. What's up with him? Um... Is the killer here already? Do we have a scream situation going yo, yo, on? Yo, yo, you get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. No, it's fine, Strawberry. Wait, gossip, Matt and Emily. Worry, you doing all right? Go with worry. Hey, you doing all right? I, mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it, and I just 
want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it! It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? So what's the glorious of scenes in. for me may be different for you. In, they're just all locked. True. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um <laughs> Lead the way, coaches. <laughs> And it's perfectly fine, Strawberry. Do not worry. So it's going to be back. Confident? Yeah, let's be confident. Him and his Markiplier so, haircut. How are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Okay, so where are we going? Okay, it's hard to choose an answer here. On one hand, just seems kind of the, the agree option just seems kind of eh, but the protest option is gonna just cause a fight, ain't it? <sighs> Screw it, protest. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna bang her. Maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off? Relax. Already? Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, oh, can you God. imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. Who talks like a perfect this? Gentlemen. Now, you come in for the kill. Uh. Sure, whatever. All right. Hunter, bro, no fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. Oh boy. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? Right, I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh my Shoot, god. Nobody likes cold buns. Okay, we got an axe, I think. Looks like an axe. Boop. Who found axe holder? Wait, I skipped a... Okay, did I skip some clues? That's not good. I didn't see any other clues along the way, though. Well, hopefully I can somehow find them. I should have turned off my GPS. I'm finally, like, outside, where I might actually use it. Can you cool it on the phone, Tom? Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Okay. By the way, from oh god. Oh. Oh. I'm okay. I was gonna say. Climbing class. Climbing you mean class. Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Oh great! Now we got paranormal activity. I don't, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. 
I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on, it's a can. Oh, yeah, now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the Lori dudes. Yep, ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and push. Bye bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? I mean, aren't they talking about when they were kids? All right, suddenly that guy turned into Woody. What's this? Oh, totem. Okay, that's death. That's a uh, that's a uh, fire of doom. Wait, what the hell was that noise? Why did I hear something kick a can over? I don't like it. I don't like being in this house alone. I think I hit the wrong button. Who found? So, what did we hear? Hold on. Oh, crap, I didn't get to read it. Hold on. Let's see. 5th June 1997, the Alberta Bugle. Ex gender convicted for arson, swears revenge on movie mogul's family by Charlie Scott, chief reporter. Victor Milgram, 52, was yesterday sentenced to 16 years in prison for aggravated arson committed on Blackwood Pines. Milgram was employed as the janitor of the Mountain's Old Hotel for 28 years. However, when Hollywood producer Bob Washington acquired the property, Milgram was fired. In a sensational twist, the sentencing ended with an enraged Milgram screaming obscenities at Washington's heavily pregnant wife, Melinda, calling her a effing whore. He vowed to get all of you your fucking husband and kids, uh, and said that he would make them suffer. Great! Melinda had visibly struggled to maintain her composure throughout the case and later claimed that though she was upset by Milgram's threats, she had full faith in the legal system to keep her and her family safe. Oh, great. Nothing could go wrong. Why is there a bicycle up here? Good question. Hello? I can't see crap, man. I'm starting to think I may have... Maybe should have turned up the friggin' brightness. Good lord. Huh? That's cool. Okay, clue found. Family portrait. Oh. Okay, there's a lot more clues than I thought there'd be, apparently. Also, why does this place look like a friggin' dungeon? I really don't like this music. I'm worried. I'm worried. See, trust me, this the scary murder isn't who you think. Oh, what did you mean? Wait, go back. What the hell was that? How was that? Oh, okay. Guess he's thinking the same thing. All right, I'm going back. Did I miss something? Oh, you saw an X. Isn't that just the totem that I picked up earlier? There's that totem, there's... All this spoopy stuff around her. Oh. Spoopy. 
spoopy shelves. You'd think eventually he would have burned his thumb by now. Oh, go the way I was going a little carefully. Okay. Um. Problem is, I can barely see anything. I see a plant. I see a stone wall that I can't do anything with. God, this place is freaking creepy. Okay, it was on the left. Um, this way then? I mean, the only X I'm seeing is this picture that I already looked at. More plants. Oh, God, you had me scared for a second there. Oh, okay, that's a... That's a skull. Great. We got a bull skull or something similar. Can I please get out of here? This is bad for my heart. Let me get out of the darkness at least. Oh, I guess I just have no choice but to mess with that one door. The hell was that noise? Okay, well, whatever that is isn't turning on. I don't like this place, guys. This place is poopy when it's dark. photo. Wait. Ready for Senior Prime, Hannah, Sam, Mike, and Emily. Sorry. Kind of getting myself lost here. Also, the suspense is killing me. It's this droning sound going on in the background. It's bad from the heart. Great, that door's locked. But she said, "Look for the bathroom." I haven't found the bathroom yet. Where the hell is it? What the deuce is that? <laughs> Thanks for the follow, baby. One, two, three. You actually kind of scared me there. That was kind of funny. <laughs> oh, upstairs. Maybe. And how are you doing, baby? One, two, three. 
<laughs> yeah, that made me jump a little bit. It's bad when you're so tense that a freaking channel follow makes you jump. <laughs> oh my god. I'm too jumpy. Alright, I'll try going up the stairs. Why is the window open? Why is... Why is this house so bloody spoopy? I guess I can't close that window. So much for insulation. You think these guys got enough cow skulls on those ceilings? Or the walls? Oh, so I've got to ask, why is the power out? Why is there no option to turn on the lights? A rainbow llama? What is that, a plushie? That sounds adorable. Does it have a derpy face with a tongue sticking out? the hell is this noise? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh hi. Spray. Get the <laughs> Fucking honey badger! I think. What was that, a honey badger or a wolverine? That's a good way to not accidentally light your log cabin on fire. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> Freaking honey badger again! Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby wolverine. Baby. Oh, it was a wolverine. Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. <sighs> Big and fuzzy animal. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Oh, what? Oh, God. Oh, boy. Up at home, bro. Will do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. And have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anymore, right? Whoa. Easy oh cowboy. boy. I'll go with the less aggressive stance. Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? Right. Right. What's going on with you, man? I lost my head. It's been a long day. Yeah. Well, try not to lose it again. And why would you regret anything, Strawberry? This is what you wanted.
<laughs> oh my god, that is so gross. Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, oh seriously, boy. can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness too loud? Oh Sounds god, like here we go. He didn't make a cut. Yeah. All a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling this homecoming a cow. Yeah, come on. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you Jeez. dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who could put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. Ooh. I don't give a crap what you Okay. At least I can think. 4.0 bitch, on a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. you couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? You <laughs> think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. It's just a fuse. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. There's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. yeah. All right. Want to go do that? Any place without that whore. Oh, boy. Right up the trail. Oh, great. We're already separating. They learned nothing from Scooby-Doo. Well, that's over. And literally every other 90s horror movie. So, Josh, uh, can we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag. The, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? That's not... I want to slap these kids. Come on, They're arguing thing. over the most pointless things. We can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Why would he want to get warm with you after you were so abusive to him? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. <sighs> Exiled. Exiled. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, far. How far is this cabin? How great is a masochist? Anyway, this cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes on. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see it. Uh, gross. Oh god. I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourself. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. You gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. Alright. Roger that. Oh great. Out into the dark I snow. What could go wrong? Okay. You wanna invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? Oh. Why would she even want that? Let's see, anything up here? I'm guessing I gotta go down. I'm just looking around in case there's any little glowy things. Glowies, where are you hiding? At least the flashlight's more useful than that lighter. True, like I said before. Hey, 
hot lips. Photo booth. All right, read my mind. Oh boy. Okay. Oh my God, we're taking a selfie. Start my portfolio at the cabin. Okay. Wait. Noted. That's what I was kind of worried about. I was gonna I was trying not to say it, but I was thinking, I really hope they don't go with that stereotype. Um, there's no right answer to this, is there? You know what? I'll just go with agree, just because. I think you bring out the worst there. Is that so? I don't want to cause problems. Epic jealousy. Suck it. Wait, did that just bait me? Why did it make a sound as if I was being bad? Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Why is there a power to lock for that gate? Oh, what's this? Another totem? Yep, another totem. Mike! Generator! Alright, got it. Wait, no, let me let me let me let me pick up the thing, lady. Uh 